Ethan Slater's wife, Lily J, appears to be blindsided that her husband is dating Ariana Grande. Ethan Slater informed his wife, Lily J, that he was done with their marriage shortly before his romance with Ariana Grande went public, according to a source. Okay, so if this is true, then does that mean he technically cheated on his wife with Ariana and how the source is telling things. Ethan was in a relationship with Ariana and was still married to his wife who was at home with their child and him or Ariana didn't see a problem with this. I'm kind of hoping that she didn't know maybe. But then again, if she finds out like, is she gonna care or not? Like, I just feel like this is kind of very slimy and gross. Like, another source that's close with Grande denies this. But the insider exclusively told Us Weekly, Ethan sat Lily down a few days before the news broke about him and Ariana and said that he wanted a divorce. Lily never saw it coming. A source tells us Ethan sat Lily down a few days before the news broke about him and Ariana and said that he wanted a divorce. So the source close to Ariana is probably denying it because it makes her look bad. But like, how does she know anything unless she's also close to Slater? Because for all we know, Slater could have told Ariana like, hey, I'm divorcing my way for splitting up and he never actually had that conversation with her. Two of two things happened. One, he got had a crush on Ariana, so nothing before Wicked was wrong and then he got feelings for Ariana and that's like during Wicked, so that would be a surprise to Lily, definitely because he hasn't seen Lily that much. Three things actually. Two, he's been feeling kind of like out of the marriage since they had the kid because that does happen sometimes. Or Ethan just really wanted more than what he could get while his wife was out of the country, if you know what I mean. So according to a third insider, however, Slater and Grande were separated when they started dating and the relationship is recent. No one is gonna know what actually happened because you have these sources saying different things, saying like, oh, they were both separated when this romance started and it's super recent. And we know that Ariana and Dalton were kind of separated for a while. They were having issues. We know that they were like separated since before it came out. Like it was already confirmed that they were separated beforehand. But we don't know how long Ethan has been separated from his wife or if he is separated from his wife, like he clearly is now, but at the time. It's understandable and it's difficult to see an ex move on, especially in such a public way. And they're trying to be as respectful as possible, the third source adds. It's really hard to see an ex move on. And on Dalton's part and Lily's part, they're now seeing constant videos, articles, pictures of, Ariana and Ethan together. And I understand that they're trying to be as respectful as they can, but it's breaking news everywhere because it's all just kind of popped up all of a sudden, no one thought this was gonna happen kind of thing. As respectful and everything that Ariana and Ethan are being, I think if they just confirm things themselves and they say, yes, we're dating or no, we're not dating, and just come out and just rip the bandaid off. I think that's gonna be a lot better because this news is gonna die down a lot faster if they just say what's going on. Because once they say what's going on, there's gonna be articles that are probably for like a week about it, and then it's gonna die down. And then they don't have to see shit about it anymore. And if they still wanna be respectful after that, just don't post stuff on social media for a bit. Like just stay on the down low, but just say what's going on. So Slater and Grande connected on the set of Wicked and they weren't shy about it in front of cast and crew, according to the third source. Ariana and Ethan weren't careful, the insider says. They'd hold hands on set in between takes. They were sloppy and not hiding it. Source tells us Ariana and Ethan weren't careful. They'd hold hands on set in between takes. They were sloppy and not hiding it. So I feel like they were hiding it on set, probably, probably because they're like, okay, we're on set. Paparazzi can't really see us because it's like a closed set and stuff. But I feel like if they're saying, oh, we are trying to be respectful and everything, I think that respect should also be on set for the cast and crew because for all you know, this could be making the cast and crew uncomfortable. Okay, so Slater and Jay, who welcomed a son in 2022, celebrated 10 years as a couple last November, one month before he left to film Wicked in London. Well, he has since gone private on Instagram, his Mother's Day tribute to his high school sweetheart, raised eyebrows, and met headlines about him and Grande. So yeah, his Mother's Day post for her, which was pretty recent, makes it look like everything's fine between them. And he wanted to separate like a month later. It doesn't add. And like, I know people are like, oh, well, it's a Mother's Day post, so it'll be from his kid. The post says, from me and then like their kid. 
if he wanted to separate, he didn't have to put himself involved in this post at all. He could just post it for her through his kid, like as a cute little, oh, the baby did this, or not post at all about it and just cherish having like Mother's Day with her. Send her flowers or book her a massage. Like there's so many other things that he could have shown that he appreciates her than making a post online. Definitely if he's wanted to separate from her and then making this post like everything's fine. Ariana and Ethan are dating. However, things are fairly new. Ariana and Dalton split in January and Ethan is separated from his wife. A second source tells us Ariana and Ethan have only recently begun seeing each other and they have seeing each other, but they have a lot of fun together and are enjoying each other's company. Us that Ariana and Ethan have only recently begun seeing each other, but they have a lot of fun together and are enjoying each other's company. I feel like they're enjoying the honeymoon stage of things. And it's just like, they've both been in these relationships for a while. So it might've been getting like boring or whatever. So they just wanted something new. But for, I just, I feel like this relationship won't last. And I feel like this is a very surface level relationship between them. And it's gonna, and like, I just, I don't see it lasting. I, once Wicked is done filming and they go home, things aren't gonna like last. I feel like, so, Ari so Ariana, Ethan, Dalton, and Lily all, none of them have publicly commented on all this drama yet. And I feel, I feel like the spouses really won't comment. I feel like Ariana and Ethan need to comment. They need to say what the hell is going on, but I don't think the spouses are ever going to comment on this. And if they do, I will be surprised because neither of them are famous. They don't have to comment on this. And I think they're both really hurting and they just want to be out of the spotlight and they just don't want to think about this and they don't have to so i feel like they're never going to comment on it but ethan and ariana really need to comment on this and just get this out open with the, whatever is happening so it can just be done and it doesn't so it can just be done and everyone can heal lily J says her family is just collateral damage as news broke of her estranged husband ethan slater's budding romance with his wicked co-star ariana grande lily J says her family is collateral damage as news broke of her estranged husband ethan slater's budding romance with his wicked co-star ariana grande ariana is the story really not a girl's girl jay exclusively tells page six my family is just collateral damage. You can tell she's upset. She is upset about this whole thing happening, which I get like her husband's leaving her for another woman, essentially. Like from what we understand, there was nothing wrong in their relationship until he met Ariana. So like clearly he is leaving his high school sweetheart the woman he has been married to for a few years now, who he has been together with for like 10 years for Ariana Grande. Cause Ariana just got out of a marriage and now she's already dating Ethan. So it's kind of sus. If you look at Ariana's track record with men, every guy she's been with has been in a relationship before dating her and then somehow leaves that relationship to be with her. And then they end up being together for a while and breaking up kind of thing. Lily, who shares one son with Ethan, says she's focusing on raising her and Slater's baby and being a good mom. And you know what? That's what she should be doing. She, out of all of this, she should just be focusing on raising their child. And that's going to help her so much get through this thing about Ethan, just putting her mind on other things like their baby and making sure that the baby's taken care of kind of thing. It, just, it, it will give her something to occupy her mind and not think about Ethan constantly. The story is her and Dalton, Jay adds, referencing Grande's split from her husband, Dalton Gomez, to whom she has been married to for two years. At the end of the day, the story is about Dalton and Ariana. That's what it's really about. It's about them splitting up and everything because Ariana is a superstar. Like people really only care about her. The only reason that Ethan Slater's divorce is involved in any of this and his split up is involved in any of this is because Ariana's dating him. And if she wasn't dating him, he probably would not have been getting divorced in the first place. But let's look at this as he was going to get divorced even if they didn't date. At the end of the day, no one would have cared about Ethan's divorce if it wasn't for it involving Ariana. She is the reason that people are caring about this divorce and that it is being talked about. Ethan is like really big in Broadway and stuff, but he is not as big as Ariana is and not enough people know him well enough for, 
for like TMZ and page six and stuff to actually talk about him and talk about his divorce if it wasn't surrounding Ariana. However, sources tell page six that Jay has been calling every news outlet to get this story out while acting differently towards Slater behind the scenes. She's telling Ethan and others that she only cares about protecting their child, our source shares. I can see how her speaking out about this can look like she's not caring about their child, but honestly, she could be caring about their child, like them saying that she's acting differently around Slater and everything. She's upset with him. She is mad at him. Of course, she's gonna act differently around him because she is upset with him. Needs to understand, I hope she understands that at the end of the day, he is still the father to their child. And like her wanting to tell every news outlet her side can be, she just wants her voice heard and wants people to know what's going on. And because Ethan and Ariana aren't, are not saying anything, she might just want this to go away. And like the easiest way to do that is to just give the outlets what they want and to tell them what's going on. Because once they know what's going on, there's no news there anymore. You've set the news, you've said what's going on, but right now no one knows exactly what's going on. So there's news until otherwise people know. She's right. She's rightfully upset because her marriage fell apart. But Ariana and Ethan didn't do anything wrong. Our insider adds, telling us that Slater has been separated from Jay for two months before romancing Grande. According to this inside source, which I would love to know who the inside source is because like at this point, why aren't they just telling their reps this stuff and having their reps say it? But either way, Ethan has been separated for two months from Lily and then he started having a romance with Ariana. Okay, cool, that could be the case, but they've been together for a long time before that. So it could have been that things were developing, like they were having feelings for each other before Ethan separated from his wife. And then he separated from his wife before they properly started dating. Ethan is trying to take the high road and hopes that he can resolve the situation for the sake of their child. And that is great of Ethan. I am really glad that Ethan is doing that because at the end of the day, it's their child that counts. It's perhaps for Gomez, Grande, and Slater didn't return page six's numerous requests for comments. At this point, just to tell them what they wanna hear. Slater filed for divorce from Jay in New York court Wednesday after nearly four years of marriage. The reason listing for the dissolution was not immediately clear. Okay, so Ethan is filing for the divorce. He's making things official, but they're like, cause like when you file for divorce, you have to say like why. And apparently that's not clear yet. I don't, why could be because of Ariana. Slater's decision to cut ties with Jay came about a week after his relationship with Ariana was exposed. Page six confirmed that Grande and Slater began dating months ago after the two already had separated from their spouses. See, this is what I find sus, is the fact that Ethan didn't cut ties, which I'm assuming they mean cutting ties as divorcing Lily until him and Ariana's relationship was exposed. That is what I'm finding sus because he can't cut ties with her completely because they have a child together. They need to still like talk for the child's sake kind of thing, like they can never completely cut ties. So I can't see the whole cutting ties thing being him completely cutting ties with her. I feel like Ariana and Ethan could have properly been separated before they started dating. But just like the fact that neither of them are saying anything. And according to Lily, it was a surprise. She was not expecting this. I feel like there's more going on between Lily and Ethan's side of things. A photo of the Wicked cast celebrating Michelle's Oscar win in March, which went viral in recent days as a result of the bombshell news, showed that the Broadway star is sitting with his arms wrapped around Grande. So we all know the, the picture they're talking about and everything. And I wanna know when this picture was taken. So I'm assuming it would have been the night that Michelle won the Oscar. So just look back to when the Oscars were and at their romance would have started around that time. Why would Ethan be that cozy with Ariana if they weren't dating?